You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where it's time for our first vlog here from Florida. <laughs> here we go. We're in Epcot at Walt Disney World to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, and we are so excited for I've this. I've not seen any POVs of this. It's a new indoor roller coaster, and in fact, one of the biggest indoor roller coasters anywhere in the world. It features launches, including a backwards launch. I've heard such good things. And the trains can actually spin 360 degrees into the different scenes, and there's a lot of special effects on this ride from what I've seen. I have actually watched a POV of it, uh, but as you all know, I say this all the time in the vlogs, um, when you watch a POV, it's good, but there's nothing like being on the actual yeah, ride. No. So I am really pumped for this. We know a lot of friends that have been out here and done this. It's been having rave reviews, this attraction. So and so I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, I opened earlier this year. My first time going on, Charlotte's first Yay! time, and first time back at the parks in I three know. years here. We're gonna be filming a full Epcot vlog that will be coming tomorrow here on the yes. channel. So of course, stay tuned for that. But it's a hot day, oh, humidity so is rising, uh, but yeah, of course, it's going to be great to get inside and try out this new attraction, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Of course, we can take you on ride, we'll film our review, we'll show you the pre-shows, the queue line, and the full experience here for this new attraction at Walt Disney World. Are you ready? Yay! Let's go. Wow, from our world to yours, look at this, absolutely huge piece of theming just out the front here and yeah of course you've got the main show building that used to be universe of energy that's the last time i went in here many years ago now and then yeah most of the coaster is actually located in that large blue show building just off to the right hand side but yeah this is really impressive out the front so excited. oh i'm so pumped for this but now with this you actually need to book onto the ride at the time of recording um so yeah there's no kind of standby queue line at the moment you need to actually get a time slot now that opens at 7 a.m in the morning and also in the afternoon at one but you need to be in the park for the afternoon one and that's all done through the walt disney world app yeah diff definitely my disney experience now if you do miss out or you don't want to do that you can just pay 14 dollars and get an individual lightning lane to ride it however that is 14 dollars per person we was lucky enough to get a time slot we did it uh, this afternoon at one o'clock here at the park and uh, yeah we got booked straight on obviously it's worth making sure you've got a good stable internet connection for that to make sure that you can get a nice reservation for it but yeah it looks really good out here at the front love the cast member uniforms and here we go, time to enter the virtual queue. Yeah, you can see all the groups just up there, now calling 115 to 129. So we're inside the building now, the wonders of Xandar. Oh, look at this. From our world to yours. Yeah, from what I've seen in the pictures, it's got a massive indoor queue line around here. Some pretty epic theming, look at this. Now the good thing is, about it being the virtual queue, it means that you're not really waiting that long. It's all done virtually, look at this. Oh wow, this is pretty spectacular in here. Xandarians explore to 100 to 400 billion stars. Our Andromeda galaxy has more than 1 trillion. But because our galaxies were This is really cool in here. And yeah, it's all the nice finish as well with all the glass, all the walls. The Bang. Our stars are quite Looks nice this, doesn't it, Charlotte? Very futuristic. Hey! <laughs> The air conditioning is very nice in here as well. We're making the most of that this trip. But yeah, obviously, when they're not doing the virtual queue, this is where you'll wait for the attraction in here. But yeah, I'm expecting to get pretty much straight on, to be honest. Yeah, this is really cool. Look at this. Boasts three stars or suns, two yellow and one red. Observant Terrans may have noted that they provide the inspiration for the distinctive symbol of the Nova Corps, our intergalactic peacekeeping force. Observe our many atolls, what you call coral reefs, which grace our coastline. Colorful algae bloom in our waters. I tell you what, this is a queue line that you wouldn't mind waiting in for a long period of time. So much to look at. Really nice. Oh, lighting changes. So we've left that large area now, up into the ramps just here. This looks really nice in here, all the lighting. It's always so exciting riding a new attraction for the first time. And yeah, the coaster itself is actually manufactured by Vekoma. Obviously a company that Disney have used quite a lot now 
for some of their big rides. And to be honest, it seems to be quite reliable, which is good. It's not really had much downtime, which is fantastic. It's really nice how you can see through into this next part of the queue line here. Oh, look at this. I mean, none of this is in use at the moment, but come and have a little stroll down here, see some of the details. This is really nice. Oh, look at the model just around here. Oh, this is really cool. Our famous Galaxarians. Where go to learn about really nice model. What are you thinking so far, Charlotte? Yeah, it's a large scale queue line. Yeah, very nice to see all the little details though, because it makes the queuing experience a lot more pleasant. Yeah, this is cool with the projection mapping on the map just here. There's a lot of rumours and speculation that they're going to be scrapping the virtual queue system soon, so hopefully so. I do prefer just queuing up for an attraction. However, I'm not complaining this time. It is nice to think that you're not going to have to wait too long. Really cool effects. I look at this over here with the screen built into it. Doesn't pick up the best on camera, but yeah, that's really cool. Wow, look at all this. So much to look around in here. All the models, all the display cabinets, all the collection. Just here. Well, okay. You can't believe that. It was 12%. Right? Go on, introduce yourself. Have you forgotten who I am? This brain is so pretty. There we go. Look at that. Literally, walk straight here into the next room, which is going to lead into the pre show. Yes, yeah, so that's the good thing with the virtual queue. Yeah, just straight, in. straight in. Yeah, which is really good. Obviously, that isn't guaranteed. However, I think from a lot of updates, videos, and photos that I've seen, that's kind of how they've been running it for this new attraction. Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. But yeah, the finish of the queue line, very impressive. Lots to look at. You wouldn't mind queuing up in that for a long period of time because there's lots to see. However, I think the coaster is going to be pretty high throughput. It's got a lot of trains on this. I think Vekoma have done a great job from what I've seen. Please step forward into the welcome center, making room for everyone. Thank you. Whoa, look at this. The welcome center. Just the scale of the queue line in these rooms, everything so far, this attraction is massive. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayam. Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born at the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years. Assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light, points. Artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people, so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. <laughs> Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? Tourists. <laughs> Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrence. I am Centurion Talmeric, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. So long as you are standing inside the lighted ramp, you do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for 
show there was very impressive, I bet you wasn't expecting that. that really cool. And of course how the walls just disappear, you stand away from them, that was awesome. Really good effect. What did I just say? It's the scale of these rooms as well. Are you still there? Everything? Hey, well, here we go, there's our first look down at the station. The Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, look at that. Yeah, I actually saw the vehicles when they're on display. So it's nice to actually see them, of course, here on the ride. Yeah, look at this. Oh, wow. Love this view through the window. Oh, look at this. This is really cool in here. There's a view. Looking down at the train. Look at that. This is really cool. Obviously, it's got the station just here. And also on the other side as well for the capacity dual loading and there's a look at the right hand station so yeah it's obviously got two on loads also got offload as well really thought about it for throughput reasons this one and i suppose that's the thing with the pre-shows they've designed those with a lot of space get people packed in yeah this station is cool look at the air gates just down there all the lights on and the small details that is awesome it is massive in here. I like how they've really thought about all the ceiling as well. You know it's a Vacoma when it makes that dispatch noise. Oh, I'm really excited for this now. It's always great experience in something for the first time. Look at this. Jewel station and trains are just coming in. Yeah, all the details. It is very well designed in here. After that awesome pre-show, be greeted with this station. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's fantastic in here. Lots to look at. Yeah, I could stand in this station all day. And that's just because of the air conditioning. Yeah, on a serious note, it's got a great ambience. And just watching the operation of the trains flying out. 
Well, here we go. We're ready to ride. Are you ready to ride? Oh, this is going to be it. Cosmic Rewind. I know, we kind of want to expect, but POVs, like I say, they don't always do it justice. Okay, no. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be good. Oh, we've heard a lot of people say it's quite a nauseous experience with the, the screens and the spinning. So we'll see how Charlotte gets on with that. Charlotte will give you a, a bit of a review from that. Um, for anyone who isn't a fan of like intense kind of... Yeah, yeah, so we'll see how Charlotte gets on because there has been a lot of people who say about that and obviously if you've watched the vlogs for a while you'll know that from the channel so uh, obviously Charlotte will be able to talk about that and yeah the overall experience of it but here we go like I said we can take you on ride come and join us here on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot it's open and we're about to ride for the first time something wow thank you <laughs> well, look at the offload <laughs> what an experience oh. Blimey. so we've just experienced guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind for the first time here at epcot and what an absolutely amazing attraction oh, it is I absolutely love that oh it was brilliant it really was let's just kind of break it all down into segments for our review obviously start off with the queue line which is huge it's very spacious a lot to look at as well yeah, there's so much going on you wouldn't really mind queuing in that one yeah i mean it was great how we got the virtual queue today um but yeah i would not mind waiting in there lots to look at all in the ceiling all the projections or screens i don't know how it was done but it was really good and then yeah massive open space in there as well with lots to look at brilliant audio very immersive uh, and lots to see lots 
what's going on throughout the queue line. Then you started to make your way up towards the pre-shows. And then, yeah, there was lots of other little bits to look at. And uh, the queue kind of, you know, splits off in a few different areas, things to see, um, which again is brilliant if you're you waiting see, for yeah. it. We've got loads to look at. And then, of course, we made our way into the grand pre-show, which I've got to say, it was truly spectacular. The camera didn't do that justice. I wasn't justice. expecting that, to be honest. Yes, yeah, so you've got kind of like a marker on the floor. And then they say, you know, go up to that point, but stay away from the walls. And that's because the walls disappear uh, into space, which is really cool. And then, yeah, literally the lift up, I, I presume, into the ceiling. Very good effect, that is. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Poseidon's Fury down at Universal Islands of Adventure with that grand epic reveal uh, and then of course there was the big screen there in front and uh, the screens at the side i thought the pre-show was really good really built me up for the ride the only thing it was missing was like an animatronic i think i think so too especially if you've been on guardians over at california adventure you've got the animatronic there no, it really adds to it. it definitely but i suppose this is on a bigger scale exactly. if there was a small um animatronic then maybe not everybody would have been able to see it but um again yeah that pre-show the size of it was amazing and then of course we exited there up into the stage and it's one of my favourite stations ever for a coaster. The station was brilliant. Yeah, again, in the scale, it is huge in there. Of course, you've got the two different onload areas there, splits off left and right. Uh, and yeah, it's really nice and big and open with some great theming, lots to look at in there. Uh, and just the overall atmosphere of the station really got me excited, really built me up for the ride. Definitely. Um, you know, some attractions, they miss out on that. Whereas with this one, it really built you up. You saw that epic pre-show after a brilliant queue line, got into the station. It did. I was worried at that point thinking oh you know i hope the ride is going to live up to it after a big build up but it did it really did of course we stepped onto the train and then yeah the trains are very spacious the lap bar was very comfortable uh, which was good i love the train design yeah, the trains lovely. yeah they look really nice and the little finishing touches like the logo that's actually on the restraint as well uh, obviously vacoma have really done a good job with that they've never built they're anything quite up. like that before um so yeah i love the train design and then of course we were off the good thing is we can film on ride so yeah you can see from the pov obviously Obviously, it's quite dark in a lot of the scenes, um, so yeah, it doesn't always show up the best on the camera. But when you're riding it, it was exhilarating, it was fun, um, there was just so much going on, it was action packed. I absolutely loved it, and for those who suffer with motion sickness, I didn't feel sick whatsoever on that. Yeah, so, which is really good. Yeah, I didn't feel sick at all, didn't find it too intense at all. It's just a really fun ride. Yeah, that's the key word to it fun, fun. and also humongous. Like it's the size huge. of this is ridiculous. Everything from the queue line, the exterior, and then the coaster itself. South. What we're talking here is over 5,500 feet of track on this ride. And of course, the highlight, in my opinion, I don't know if Charlotte was the same, but for me, it was the backwards launch. The backwards that I launch was great. Um, that was brilliant with all the effects going on there. Uh, the ride does rely on screens and projections, of course, throughout. However, uh, there was a lot to look at and there was so much going there on. There was a lot going on. There wasn't too much dark space it at all. Brilliant. Lots to see all the way around, which was great. Again, sometimes with indoor coasters, you suffer from not having loads to look at. That wasn't the case with Cosmic Rewind. There was There's loads, loads going at. on to see, which was great. Yeah, the backwards launch of the coaster section was my favourite. Along with that, it was built up really of helixes and drops. Uh, there was a section where it was like a bit of an upwards launch, which yes, was really it was. cool. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, and when we first made our way into a big, sh large show building, and um, that was the point where you know you realised, blimey, this is huge, and it just sounds see like the, the planets scale. around yeah. and going to there. Um, it was fabulous. really like, oh my god, so much to see. That much so, you definitely need to ride that a few times. Oh, hundred percent. And that isn't just because of the theming and the experience. There's there's actually six different songs that you get on there as well. And if you're coming over Christmas, I believe they're going to be changing it for the festive oh, season. Be good. Uh, which is really good. Uh, yeah, lots of different music on there. Obviously, I do like my themed audio. However, I'm aware, of course, that Guardians of the Galaxy does feature them songs in the take movies. It away from it no, all. it didn't. No, that's all part of it. No. A lot of people like the kind of partying aspect of it. Um, for me, the music wasn't a highlight. Um, that just complemented the experience on Definitely, there. Yeah. Uh, for me, the actual coaster hardware itself it was I thought fantastic. was beautiful. It was so smooth. Um, like Charlotte said, it wasn't too intense, but it wasn't too slow and boring no, it either. Wasn't, no. um, considering there's a lot of trains running around on that track, it didn't feel like you were going through loads of block sections, which I was worried it might feel like. It Not at all. Really nice, the flow of it was great. It's so smooth. It's really well built. Obviously, Disney have worked with Vacoma in the past. 
and uh, yeah, they've excelled with this ride. It's one of the best indoor roller coasters in the world. Definitely one of the best all-round package experiences you'll get here at Walt Disney World. And overall, a brilliant addition to Epcot. 10 out of 10. Yeah, really enjoyed it. 10 out of 10. The only things we'd add, like I say, maybe some animatronics would have been great in I the pre-show. So and uh, But other than that, can't fault it. I think it was absolutely brilliant. It's been hyped up a lot, that attraction. So sometimes these rides don't live up to the it overhype. Up to it. This one 100% did. I really enjoyed it. It's a fantastic family coaster. Worth pointing out the key word there is family. family. It isn't a thrill ride. It is a family, family coaster. Um, but the fact the vehicles turn, they don't really spin. They turn into the scenes on turn there. Uh, and that there was a planet near the end and we kind of did the helix round and I turned like into it. Uh, there was just so much going on. I cannot wait to get on there again. We'll definitely do it whilst we're here again this trip uh, because it was absolutely brilliant. Well done, Disney. Really Huge nice addition. Well and uh, finally, a roller coaster in this park. Yay! 40 years of Epcot. That's the first coaster in this park. So I'm glad they finally got one. It's big. It's grand. It's got a fantastic throughput. I don't think that ride, even when they go to standby weights, is going to get ridiculous queues because no, the trains are pumping so. out on that. Definitely. Fantastic addition to this park. We absolutely loved it. But uh, should we have a look in the shop? Yeah. Yeah, there is a new gift shop for this. So we'll go and check that out and see some of the merchandise. But I tell you what, I am overwhelmed. That was amazing. So much to see. Cannot wait to get on it again. So the exit to the attraction is just here on the right. And then, yeah, as you're coming out, you've got Treasures of Xander, the shop just here. So let's go and have a look inside. I'm expecting it to be pretty big in here. Oh, actually, oh, it's smaller than I thought for the shop. I've not really seen much of it. There you go, it's such a large attraction. I was kind of expecting the shop to be massive, but there you go. This is cool. There's the Star Blaster, of course. That's the main feature at the front of the attraction. They're quite nice just there. And here we go. You've actually got the Guardians of the Galaxy logo just on there as well. And all of your different merchandise just here, which is really cool. Hopefully there's going to be some... Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's got the show building on. Cosmic Rewind. There you go. You've got the photo frame. That's cool. I like how you've got the Spaceship Earth kind of frame around that as well. That's really nice. Oh, there's a mug just over here. Really cool shop. Yeah, there's the mug. That's nice. And you've got the patches just here as well. They're pretty cool. Lots of other Guardians merch just here as well. <laughs> Fancy that, Charlotte? Is it? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Yeah, there's not actually loads of merchandise with the coaster on. I think a good coaster shirt would have been good, like with the train design on. I think that would have been fantastic. That's the only thing down here, but yeah, clothing-wise, I think it's just this on the left. Yeah, I think the merchandise, for such a star attraction, I think the merch could have been a bit better, in my opinion. That's quite nice. So for nine ninety nine, you can pick up Groot just there and Rocket. There he is. The angry raccoon. <laughs> just there on the actual train. I love the train design. Like they're amazing. You can tell a lot of money's been spent on this attraction. I would love to know the total build cost for this, but it is on a massive scale. Just the size of the scenes. That's a cool little feature in the shop. That's the thing with Disney. You know, they always create the full package. The shop's very nice. And look at he all this around like here. To make a big deal there you go. I don't like to oh my God, look at them. Oh, I like these actually moving. <laughs> all robotics. Oh, that's here we go, Charlotte. Whoa, look at that. What a hand. <laughs> that was quite scary, that was. <laughs> oh, she's coming in. <laughs> Yeah, some of the merch is all right, but I think it would have been nice to have a good coaster shirt. Because I'd have been tempted with that, you know, with the train on, maybe a bit of track. That would have been cool. What we got over here? Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. It's quite nice, isn't it? Is it real in the top? Is it? Oh, plastic. <laughs> that's quite a nice one. I know it doesn't really have the ride on, but yeah, that's quite cool. There you go. <laughs> the little magnet set just there as well. There's yeah, some nice bits. Let's put the lights a little bit more with the coaster on. Dancing groups. Oh, is he going to dance for us? Oh, Aww. is he? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> your lights up. Not dancing, unfortunately. Outside of the shop then now, and just before we share our final thoughts and wrap up the vlog, thought I'd show you this from the back because it really is impressive. It's absolutely massive as well. When you see everybody sat and standing around the side, Look at this, absolutely humongous. Great photo opportunity, not just from the front, but also from the back here as well. 
Well, we've got about 15 minutes now since we came off, and I am still blown away by the quality of that attraction. I loved it so Such much. Such a fantastic ride. I cannot wait to get on there again. I'm sure we'll get another boarding group, because the park doesn't seem too busy. No, it doesn't. Uh, but yeah, what a brilliant addition to Walt Disney World, and of course, Epcot. Finally seeing a coaster in this park, and yeah, just the storyline of it and everything. It all came together in a great experience. And that's the final thing I just want to touch on, actually, with this ride. You don't need to actually know all about Guardians of the Galaxy no, to enjoy you it. Don't at all. Um, yeah, the actual attraction itself um, doesn't rely too heavily on it, it even though it's based yeah. around it. Anybody can go on it and enjoy sure, that. Tell you in the pre-show what's going to happen, and then goes from there. Yeah, that's the thing. But no, we really enjoyed it. Cannot wait to get on it again this trip. But of course, thanks for joining us Thank in our you. first park vlog. We're filming a full vlog today here at Epcot as well. And of course, Charlotte's dressed appropriately Hi, um, for her favourite. Figment. Hey, journey into imagination with figments. Yeah, we're going on that. Along with that as well, we'll be checking out all the other major rides in this park: soaring, test track, mission space and of course exploring world showcase as well and uh, yeah harmonious as well tonight and um, so that's all going to be coming up in tomorrow's vlog here on theme park worldwide as we just get started really with our trip we're only just getting going day one of the trip and what a way to start it um you know i was really hoping that was going to live up to the hype and it has done you know because it's always a concern when something gets built up so much brilliant. you know i've been following that a lot and you've got to think it got announced many years ago now i was worried thinking blimey is it going to live up to it but it really does i very much enjoyed Enjoyed it. It's just the overall package of it which is fantastic. Uh, it's a dark ride, slash a coaster together, and it all comes together in a great experience that's suitable for the whole family. It is suitable for everyone. It really is. But uh, come and join us tomorrow for our full vlog here from Epcot at Walt Disney World. As we mentioned, the park is celebrating uh, 40 years in a couple of weeks' time, so it's nice to be here just before that milestone kicks in, and of course enjoy everything that this awesome park has to offer here at Walt Disney World. But uh, here we go. We're off to go and ride Figment. We are. And that leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you all tomorrow